Bonnie, happy Friday. Oh my goodness, you guys. Snow, ice, <laughs> more snow. It was so cold going out this morning. It's a little bit difficult for me to talk about tropical scents right now. I almost feel like going and putting on my um, sleigh rides and snuggles at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but I am immersed in tropical. We were moving forward and we're hoping to see sun soon. It was funny. I was talking to my girlfriend in North Carolina yesterday and it was like 70 degrees. I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> I'm like, I gotta move. <laughs> so I'm hoping everyone is somewhere warm today. And if you're with me in Northeast Ohio, we got a little wise. We got we got March. We got that's the that's our bad month because you never know what it's gonna be. It could be like really cold. You might get a day that's like sixty or seventy. Let's hope for those. So, oh my gosh, you guys, tropical! I'm having so much fun trying all of these tropical products out. Today I am going to do a pink pineapple sunrise review. I only have the mist and the cream, so far we're not seeing the shower gels online. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but um, we don't have the shower gels yet. We have the moisturizing body wash, there is the hand cream, there is the foaming hand soap. Uh, I think we have a car fragrance in this too. Um, no, I, don't, I thought I saw the car fragrance. It wouldn't surprise me if we do. It seems like Pink Pineapple Sunrise isn't everything. Oh, we have a hand sanitizer. That's what we have. Um, so it's kind of like their flagship new scent, it feels like. Like, this is like, they're promoting this everywhere. Like, all over Bath & Body Works uh, social media, I'm seeing Pink Pineapple Sunrise. So I did review the candle um, maybe a week or two ago. Check this out. It's super pretty. It doesn't really match the body care per se. I mean, the color scheme is similar, but it's a little different. And the lid is pretty. I gotta say, I love the lid. However, I wasn't overly impressed with the candle. So the candle is sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. Same with the body care. So sweet pink pineapple. They keep showing like um, a pink pineapple cut in half. They're showing the pink pineapple. Um, the palm sugar and the sun-drenched nectar. Which kind of gives you like a sweet tropical planty kind of scent in the candle like i said i wasn't blown away by the candle so i wasn't sure what to expect with the body care oh my goodness you guys i love the body care i feel like the body care is really unique where the candle wasn't and i'm not exactly sure why so there is a very distinct sweet note in this mist that i absolutely love Check out the packaging. It's pretty. I like the packaging a lot. It's um, understated, but pretty. I like the pink. I like the design. I like that it's got kind of like some bronze effects on it. I am all about the packaging. I think the packaging is really nice this year. And there's a really, like I said, unique, sweet, pink pineapple note in here. But the way it mixes with like the sun drenched nectar, it kind of reminds me of um like the raspberry tangerine only it's pink pineapple which raspberry tangerine is a good scent there's just a note in here that makes it like delicious and it makes it summery and it makes it pop it feels a little bit less tropical i think in the body care than the candle and i'm not really sure why like i said it's just a little bit of a difference so if you don't like the candle i wouldn't give up on the body care yet because the body care, this is like going to be my summer signature scent, I think. I love this, but not really right now. <laughs> like, I don't know if I want to wear this in the snow, even though I'm like wishing for summer. But I think this is going to be like a fabulous signature scent in the summer for a lot of people. It's fresh, it's fruity, it's casual. I would wear this daytime, evening. I would just put that on like all day to go out. Um, body cream. The body cream, again, I mentioned yesterday... Um, it doesn't say it on the body cream. On the mist, it says uh, made without parabens. I'm not seeing that on the, um, I need bifocals, you guys. <laughs> I've needed them for a while, but I'm always like peering over my glasses, which is probably annoying on camera. <laughs> this is the, um, the ultimate hydration cream that they've been using for the past year. I do like this formula. 
And I equally like the cream. The cream is really nice, you guys. It's not overpowering. You know what I like about the cream? This is something that I can wear. I actually wore this to bed last night. I was a little bit worried after I used the mist because the mist is really strong. The mist has got some staying power to it. The cream is a lot more subtle, but it's kind of relaxing, like in a summer fruity beachy kind of way. So I like the cream too. The cream is a lot lighter though. So I gotta try the shower gel. I'm assuming the shower gel is gonna be like really fruity because it always is. I'm like, why can't I get my hands on these shower gels? Are they in the store? Let me know somebody that's been in the store. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but I did get it in um, the scrub. And this scrub is really an odd scrub. I have to do a sink demo on it. It's called Sand and Sea Salt. Check this out. And I don't know if this one is sealed. They don't seal these, and I don't know why. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my hand just to show you on camera. It's not the most visually appealing of the... <laughs> of the scrubs. Look at this. It just kind of falls off your hand. Um, there's no lather to it at all. It's just basically sand and fragrance. It does have a sand. It, it smells like dirt. I mean, that's really what it smells like. It smells like dirt and sand. I know. I, I, I live on the beach. <laughs> it's like, I feel like just I feel like my making my own sand scrub. I, all I gotta do is go to the beach, grab a grab a bucket of sand, and pour some pour some shower gel all over it. And I got my own sand scrub. That's what I feel like. But um, I will think time on this one, so you can see the consistency. It has coconut oil and walnut shell in it. Now walnut shell is a pretty strong. Um, exfoliant. So you're going to feel this on your skin. A lot of people don't like this one because it's a little bit too rough. However, um, I do like it. I like it using it on my feet. I like using it um, in the summer, like in my elbows and stuff. So I do like the formula. It's just a little bit weird. I wish they would bring out some more scrubs for people that don't like the sand scrub um, because they had a pearlized tropical one the one year. It was really nice. I, I love that pearlized one. So I don't know. A lot of people might not love the scrub, but like I said, I, I will do a, a sink demo on that one. See, now I have sand all over me. I feel like it's summer. My summer In summer, my house is covered with sand because we come up from the beach and we always have sand on us. So <laughs> it reminds me of summer. So anyway, um, Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I like it. I'm not as much in the candle. I love it in the body care. Much stronger in the mist. Um, the cream is nice and relaxing. It's a good summer fresh scent. Like I said, I think a lot of people are going to love this one in the summer. That pink pineapple note is really, really pretty sugary. I love it. So that is my initial thought on this collection. Once I get the shower gels, I'm going to do a whole shower gel video because you know me and shower gels. <laughs> I love them. And then, like I said, we're going to talk about these um, sand scrubs. So anyway, have an awesome morning. It's only 1037 and I got a video up. I will see you guys later with more. Bye bye.